Cole, without without looking at the film, what did you feel the the keys were tonight uh, for you guys? You know, just after after closing the gap in the second quarter, falling behind and, and not being able to catch up with the Celtics. Um, just from not watching film. I mean, what I can take away from it is that just a team we didn't compete. We didn't make the multiple efforts. Um, we didn't attack off in the glass like we usually do, and we just um. We kind of just we would make a singular effort, and after that, I think it was good enough, and just that's it's never good enough. Okay, Josh Robbins, the Athletic. Oh, how did how comfortable did you feel out there? You seemed to get off to a, a hot start offensively, and seemed to be able to get to your spots uh, very efficiently. Um, offensively, I mean, I think I'm just getting more and more comfortable. I mean, yeah, I just I played probably just I'm playing with more confidence now. I mean, should have. Never been not playing with confidence, but I can, I can, looking back on it now, I can say I was, but just, I mean, still at the end of the day, still got to be better than what I was today. I mean, just had made a multitude of mistakes. It was a lot of mistakes. Um, and, uh, yeah, just didn't, I mean, fall right in with the team. I didn't know if I competed to the best of my ability. So that's just where we got to get better. Phil Rossman Reich, Orlando Magic Daily. Hey, Cole. Um, you know, obviously, you're on a team with, with some veterans who you kind of been through the ups and downs of the NBA, but how do you prevent or how do you stop frustration from setting in with the way that the shots aren't falling or, or how, do you, how do you prevent frustration from kind of setting in and, and clouding everything? Um, well, for me, I just like to go get in the gym. I mean, it, it, not a better feeling. There's nothing more reassuring than going against the shots up to see the shots go in. So, I mean, that's, that's the best um, medicine for me. So, that's what I like to do, but, I mean, I can't speak for how the veterans. I mean, they just tell you to stay the course. And I'm sure they have their own way of dealing with it, especially for how long they've been in the league. But just for me, watching that film and getting in that gym, it's only two ways for me. Okay, uh, let's go James Hill, Black News Channel. Oh, uh, you're getting better every game. Uh, you have a great opportunity to help this ball club. You're getting increased minutes. You get to go home and play two games in front of friends and family, and a lot of people won't be in the buildings. But talk about going to New York and even playing on MLK Day at the Garden. Um, well, let me just start and say, I ain't playing in front of no friends and family. I can't even see my family, so I mean, I don't know about that one, but um, just going back to New York definitely feels good. Even though I won't get to see my family, just being in, in the same areas um, is, makes me feel good. So, I mean, I, I'll shoot them a little FaceTime. I don't know how different it's going to feel from being in Orlando, but I definitely face on them. But um, it's just, it's, um, it's, I mean, as a kid growing up in New York, it's exciting to be able to go back to New York and play pretty much where you were raised in the, on the biggest arena possible and, then, and on the biggest stage possible. So I'm excited for that. Okay, Paul Casanova. How you doing, Cole? Um, with the crazy season like it is and with not a lot of time to practice and all, how often do you speak with your dad about about your your experiences going on right now? Um, I mean, I talk to my dad every day. Regardless if I play, if I don't play, I mean, he'll, he'll I'm, he's already texted me now on my phone. Uh, he just texted me again, telling me how bad I played. But um, you know, it's, <laughs> it's normal. I mean, I'm, I would like constructive criticism from whoever it is. I just want to get better. So I mean, it's a blessing to be able to have someone like that with an abundance of knowledge. So just blessed to have him. Okay, a couple more. Back to Philip Rossman Reich. Sorry, I don't have a question. Just left my hand up. Okay. All right. Any final questions for Cole? Jamie Say, WKMG. Hey, Cole. Um, you know, this this particular weekend, you guys are busy. Game tonight, game tomorrow, and then a game noon on Monday. How is your body adjusting to this kind of schedule? Um, it really has not been too bad. I mean, I honestly would say my body was probably feeling worse in college just because, you. I mean, you might not play as much, but you having the days you don't play, two-hour practices. And I, those, honestly, were more, I feel, at the, up to this point, were more taxing my body than this. So, I mean, just have this, and then in terms of just taking care of my body, just you have everything. I have access. I have money. I got people here just on site ready to take care of me, help my every need. So, I mean, been really trying to take advantage of that just because I know that it's a long growing season, especially with how condensed it is this year. So, I mean, just I feel I don't feel bad at all right now. The shooting numbers are, are, are not good. Um, how do you get the guys to be confident shooting their shots or, or is it just a matter of just waiting for them to go in? How, how, do, how do you change the, the shooting numbers and make them make them better? 
Well, I think it's more, I mean, you know, it's purpose of play. Uh, you know, where tonight, and it really, actually, I'll tell you, I'll share with you what I just said to them. I thought this morning was uh, our worst in terms of uh, being attentive um, that we've been, be it in a ballroom walkthrough or a shoot around all year. That was my note. I make notes after every practice, every walkthrough, every game. And the thing I put this morning was, we better play better tonight with more interest than we showed in the walkthrough this morning. And, you know, look, most teams that I've ever been around, uh, and I've been around teams that won, you know, 32, 33 games. I've been around teams that won 59 games. And I've never been around teams that, that prepare well, play well. Teams that don't put a lot into preparation, don't play well. And that as much as anything, uh, happened to us tonight. I mean, in terms of the offense overall, look, I mean, we have everybody. I mean, you know, we didn't have, you know, we probably had like a, you know, an offensive team that could have developed, but that would have been obviously our challenge. So with the guys that are out right now, I mean, we're very much challenged offensively, which means we have to execute. We have to play with purpose and we can't give possessions away. So it's, it can be done. Um, but obviously, you got to have the right energy, the right purpose, the right offensive force, and they are good defensively. That's part of it, too. Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Cliff, you touched a little bit on it there, but especially when you're short-handed, just how important is it to, to be precise, uh, especially against a team like the Celtics offensively? I mean, you touched on it before the game, just how, how pivotal offensive execution would be against them. Oh, no question. You got to be locked into what you have to do. Uh, tomorrow night will be similar. Uh, and, uh, you know, we weren't that. I mean, again, I thought this was in terms of just purpose of play, uh, things that we did in the morning and the, and the follow through or carry over to the game. Uh, you know, really the, the Philly game was different from the standpoint that, uh, you know, they really beat us up and down the floor in transition. Tonight, this was, you know, our defense, most of it tonight started at the offensive end. And again, a lot of that is just being locked into what we have to do. Aaron Goldstone, Pinstripe Post. Thank you. Uh, Coach, your team briefly took a lead in the second quarter. Um, how important of a stretch in the game was it when Pin Pritchard scored those eight consecutive points? And what were your thoughts of Boston's rookie after seeing him for the first time? Oh, he's a good player. I mean, you know, uh, you know, obviously, I mean, we had three days off, so I watched a ton of film, and uh, he is super skilled. Uh, he's got high IQ, and, uh, you know, he was actually one of the guys that we, we, we talked about at Circle this morning, and uh, he's a good player, but again, uh, those were, you know, I don't know about mistakes, but it wasn't great defense. James Hill, Black News Channel. Coach, uh, A.G. is still getting a lot of touches, but he's handling the ball, bringing it up court a lot. Uh, just talk about him playing point guard and, and initiating the offense. Yeah, I mean, it's a work in progress. And, uh, you know, that group didn't function nearly as well tonight as we did in the first two games. So, you know, we'll watch the film and go back and uh, see what, what didn't work, what worked, and then build on it from there. Kim played really well on the post, uh, 12 and 12. Talk about uh, his his contest tonight. Nah, you, you know what? I mean, I thought, you know, at halftime, we, you know, we were, uh, you know, was it 10 on the road? Um, and uh, the biggest part of it was offensive rebounding. That was the best thing we had done in the first half. So he's a big part of that. Uh, you know, I feel badly he had to play so many minutes because we need him again tomorrow night. But again, when we're down bodies, there was there was nobody else to go to there. Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Cliff, James touched on a little bit there, but but when shots aren't falling, how important is it to make the the hustle plays like Kem makes on the, the offensive glass to give you guys second chances and some additional looks? Well, we're going to need those, those whatever you want to call them, energy effort points, both fast break and second chance points. So it's been something that uh, we've been good at uh, here early in the year. And we again, we need those kind of energy effort points. 
Okay, a couple more. Dan, you have a follow up? Hey, Cliff, uh, you play again in less than 24 hours as, as you as you guys regroup and, and head to Brooklyn. What are what are going to be some of the keys tomorrow uh, against the Nets? Well, we have to play better. I mean, we have to know what we're doing. Um, we have to have everything always starts with the right intent. And, uh, you know, again, there was a lot of just organizational errors out there. Uh, I've blown sets, not knowing plays, uh, and you know it gets frustrating for everybody. So we've got to, you know, we've got to be better. You 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 can't play well in this league unless you're, you know, an expert on what you're doing. And we had been getting better with that. And we took a big step backwards tonight. Pat Welter, News Channel 13, Spectrum Sports. Steve, your team's last few years have been great at kind of stopping slides, you know, coming up with a, a big performance after a, a small losing streak. Now, how do you kind of make sure that this doesn't get away from you here a little bit with several losses in a row and a tough road trip ahead? Yeah, I mean, it sounds funny, but yeah, I mean, the guys will tell you this is this used to be what Jeff Van Gundy always said, and, and it's so true is people want to talk about, uh, you know, I get obviously when you lose it's chemistry, it's just you have to play well in the NBA. Everybody has to know what they're doing. Everybody has to agree to play a certain way on offense and defense. And when you put possessions together, then you get good quarters, then you put good quarters together. And that's what we've learned how to do here. So um, even though we're shorthanded, we have enough guys that have been through that. And it's what you have to do. Don't give possessions away. Value every offensive possession. Know what the game plan is. Uh, help your teammates play better at the defensive end play our defense, take away individual strengths and the strengths of the other team. And that's what you have to do. It's, it's so much, obviously it's about, you know, if you have a superstar and all that, it's different, but it doesn't matter. We have to play better.